Prime Minister Narendra Modi has hailed India's successful test flight of the Agni-5 missile. This was developed indigenously, marking a significant achievement for the country. Let's take a look at this report. India's most ambitious nuclear-capable missile test, codenamed Mission Divyastra, and revealed to the nation by Prime Minister Modi in a heartfelt note of applause for the project team. The test of a missile capable of ranges in excess of 6,000 km. Tested across Bay of Bengal and Indian Ocean, with technology that has never been tested before at this range. Take a closer look at these two images. On the left is the standard Agni-5, which has already been tested a few times and is part of India's nuclear command arsenal. You'll notice that the mission Divyastra Agni-5 on the right looks different. A more rounded nose cone and altered architecture. The reason? While the original Agni-5 only carries a single 1.5-ton nuclear warhead, the new weapon sports MIRV technology, a module that allows the missile to carry multiple nuclear warheads, which separate during re-entry into Earth's atmosphere and are guidable towards different targets. What this means is, instead of launching a single missile at a single target, an Agni-5 can be launched to potentially destroy multiple cities or targets with separate, independently guidably nuclear warheads. Thousands more than the earlier Agni family of nuclear missiles, all of Pakistan and large parts of China are within the reach of the Agni-5 Divyastra. Under India's nuclear no-first-use policy, such a weapon can never be fired first, but will be instrumental of total retaliatory destruction of any nation that dares to hit India with a nuke. Of course, the true success of this Divyastra will be if it ever needs to be used. India's nuclear deterrent just got many times more powerful. Bureau Report, India Today.